right guys, hey, my name is Captain Ryan Rickard. I'm here at the Skeeter Dealer Meeting in Longview, Texas, wanting to talk about our new SX241. There's been a lot of buzz and hype about this boat coming out, but I tell you what, I'm super excited to walk through and show you some of the new things that's offered on this new boat. Just starting from the front, we've got new lighting systems for our navigation system. Instead of having one specific light underneath, we now have two individual ones that's actually really nice and visible. There's a new trolling motor plug, which I like, which is a very quick removable trolling motor plug instead of having to unwire everything from our deck now. Super quick release, super quick release on the plug as well if you ever want to take it off. Lots of storage on this boat, just as Skeeter always does, but you've got some storage compartments on the right side and on the left side of the boat, which has some rod storage in it as well. A nice large additional storage compartment for keeping tackle or life vest or any safety equipment in it. This year, what we've done is there's a lot smaller tow rail up on the front deck. It just gives it a lot more sleek look and a lot more easy entry up on the front deck. The other thing I really like about this is we've put the uh, integrated cup holders into the gunnels this year, so they're nice and flush. Coming up into the uh, storage compartment into the floor for cast nets, for anything buckets that you might want to put into the floor, we have that option as well. I'm gonna open up this front entry into our console because there's one really neat feature that you can get this year, which is the Siren Marine Monitoring System that's an option for our new 241 this year. It can monitor a lot of your components on your boat so you have peace of mind and safety of your boat. There's a front live well up under the seat, which this year we have three standard live wells, which I'll get to in just a moment. And as we walk around the front console, really neat, sleek design in the console, a really nice new windshield that's got a little bit of tint in it, which I really like as well. I can't speak enough about this new dash. This is a really neat thing this year. So they've put in a whole new design dash with individual switches that are LED switches that can be reset if they're tripped as well, not just in one pad. A new feature here that I like as well is the removable storage. You've got some tackle that you could put into your console. You've got a new area where you can put a wallet, cell phones, charge your cell phones if you'd like as well, which is a nice new feature, the 241. And also you can have ease, ease of use into the console from this side as well. Going up into our leaning post, it's a new leaning post. It's a lot better design here. It's to the back of the leaning post, there's now a slide out feature for your cooler which is really nice. Instead of having to pick the cooler up and pull it out, you can just slide that feature out. Some also new designs underneath, which is gonna have a lot of tackle storage. You could put up to four tackle boxes in this. And the other side, you could also put in plenty of storage like knives. You could put in a leader, hooks, whatever you might wanna stick inside that storage as well. Nice, nice new feature there. The one really good thing that I love about the new 241 is the access to the builds now. A lot of boats have such a small access point to get into change bilge pumps or live well pumps if they go out, but not in the new 241. This new 241 has complete access into the builds to be able to get to anything very easily if it needs to be replaced. Bilge pumps, access to any of your power pull pumps or raptor pumps, it's a really nice feature. And as it folds down, there's a nice new seat in the middle Instead of two jump seats on the side, you can still sit two people in the middle of this. As you're sitting back in this other area, you'll notice that there's a lot more room here in the rear. The reason for that is the new 241 has a little bit of a curved design here in the rear deck so that you do have more walk around space behind the console. And then our, on each side, we now have live wells on each side of the boat in the rear. So again, you have three total live wells on this boat. We also have our unmatched Yamaha 300 motor that goes with this new 241, the best name in the industry. So hopefully you learned a little bit of the new 241. I know I did, the hype is real. What I would recommend is you going to check out your local dealer and checking out one of these boats for yourself. You won't be sorry.